Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video. Today guys, we're going to be showing you how you can get custom natural disasters in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, if you guys want to survive the natural disasters in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends. And with that being said, let's get started as it starts to rain. Alrighty guys, so in order to get custom natural disasters in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, you're first you're going to need to go to the description below and download the natural disasters add-on which is linked in the description below for you all to download. Once you have that downloaded guys, you can go ahead and click play. Also, if you do not know how to install add-ons and stuff and maps and so on, we do have a video in the description below on how to do that, so go check that out as well. But anyway, what we're going to do now guys is create a new, create a new world. And we're going to go down to behavior packs, we're going to go to my packs, and there you will see the disaster pack high end. Now as you can see guys, there are six types of disasters, you have to survive as long as possible, and it's made by Wrecking Soul Gaming. So once you have it downloaded, just click active, say continue, and you will have it active. Now you can actually click on it, and there is a little cog that you can press. Now this clog gives you six different types of natural disasters, you can even have the winter disaster, so think of the cold. Uh, you can even get blackouts, sandstorm, fire disaster, flood disaster, or lava disaster. So you can choose whichever one you want. Let's go with winter disaster, or actually let's go for the lava disaster. Now guys, uh, normally you can play this on survival. In this case, we're just going to do it in creative. Of course, though, it's up to you which mode you want to do, but you'll most likely want to do it in survival. Now guys, some few notes that you'll want to know. Basically, once you create your natural disaster world and go into it, you will have three minutes to gather resources. After those three minutes, guys, the natural disasters will start to take place. And then every seven seconds in the interval, a new disaster will take place. Obviously, of whichever one you selected. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and create our natural disaster lava themed world. And let's go ahead and take a look. So, guys, once you hop into the world, it'll say welcome to lava disaster or whichever one you have. It'll say you only have three minutes to collect resources. So, oh, last is uh, survived the the uh, lava disaster wins the game and obviously all their socials now guys this this map can actually be played with friends so if you want to have a more competitive um, environment you don't want to see who can actually survive the lost you can actually grab some friends and go ahead and see who is the toughest in minecraft now as you guys can see the counter the, the timer is counting down in five second intervals and once it hits zero of course the first natural disaster will take place now probably preferably in this time you're gonna want to try and you know gather resources but because i'm different like that i don't even care i'm not scared so i'm literally just gonna wait it out and once the waiting is done we're gonna wait and enjoy our natural disasters in a real life scenario probably this is not the way to survive a lava eruption a volcanic eruption or whatever you want to call it so please do not follow my advice standing still and crouching up and down is not going to save your life but hey if you're like me maybe it will all right guys so we're into the last few seconds so seven six five four and lava rising in three two one and now guys the lava will start to rise now of course we're not too sure whether it means on the this level or does it mean bedrock so uh, we're gonna probably go check of course every single um, natural disaster will be different But in this case as you guys can see the lava is there. So it's law. It's gonna rise From about well low down and it's gonna get higher and higher higher and higher as you guys can see so guys as you can see It is going up now. It doesn't actually replace box, but rather fills box so uh, the blocks that are already there aren't gonna be replaced, but Empty spaces will be filled with lava. So, yeah, it is going to take some time, guys, to get to the top. So, you know, in, in actual matter of fact, you actually have a bit more time <laughs> rather than just three minutes to get down to business. So, you can probably spend another three minutes mining resources. But sooner rather than later, the lava is going to be up at the top surface. So, let's just wait and see how long it takes. Alrighty, guys. So, after waiting about five minutes, I'd say you can actually start to see the lava is pretty darn close now. So any second, it'll literally start to be rising up. Obviously, it's going to take a bit while to get over here. But um, as you guys can see, the lava is starting to rise. This is actually now a, a, a moral victory for us. Because it's actually starting to look like something. So in a few more moments, uh, the lava will be literally above the surface. And then we'll start to probably die. Because as you guys can see, lava is rising there. Lava is rising here. You know, it is actually starting to become a natural disaster. Things are getting on fire, you know. Um, and I have to try and survive. Fortunately enough, I am a little scamp and I am in creative, so I don't actually have to worry about this. I can literally just fly. But you guys will probably be in survival and experiencing 
very hot spicy bum bum so yeah probably don't be in creative because it kind of destroys the fun but as you guys can see it is a natural disaster the whole world is being filled with liquid cheese but anyway guys my world is full of lava and of course this is just the lava uh floor lava horizon one there's others of course such as the winter disaster sandstorm blackout and the other ones guys so basically we're not going to try all those ones on a video right now that would take too long but you guys get the idea, this is the Lava Fluorizing one, and of course there's others, so go ahead, try them out all for yourself, and tell us down below which is your favorite. Go ahead, grab some friends, and have fun, and who can survive the longest, and see who is the best at surviving. But anyway guys, that's going to wrap up the video, thank you so much for watching, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends. And with that being said, we'll see you all next time, goodbye everybody.